kitchen. Um, I've got Tim Price with me. He's, he's a bit of a, a chef extraordinaire. Yeah. We're here today on Cooking Tea with TDS. What yeah. are you going to whip, uh, whip up for us today, Tim? Well, this, today I'm going to cook up beers. Right. Yeah. And so the thing is, is I want to make bigger than usual beers today. Okay. Now, when you haven't got any beers in the house, what most people don't know is you can make your own. Right. And you how, can actually how do we make go about doing that? Ordinary household items. I can guarantee you, just about all of these items you'll probably have in your cupboard. And you've just found these in the in the fridge in the pantry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyone will have these. Right? Now I like to start, yeah. I build a bit of a base. Right? Lasagna sheets. Right? Everyone's got those. Yeah, just a few of yeah, those. Just a few of those. Build a base in the bottom of your pan there. Right? Now, the thing is, beer's a liquid. You need yeah. plenty of liquids in this. Now mm. this one's a, a Nando's Portuguese barbecue peri peri. Mm. Now, yeah, that does wonders, absolute oh. wonders to the flavour of the brew. It's looking great. The absolute flavour of the brew that brings it. Yeah, mm. al already mm. you're getting the it's, gist. It stings the nostrils. Already you're getting the gist. Now ordinary household mayonnaise. Yeah, I've, I've got a spoon. Quick, I'll get in there. Some of that. All that's off. Yeah. <laughs> Tomato salsa. Yeah. I actually like to go medium. Not a lot of people yeah. like it too hot, you know, too spicy. Well, it has so to be palatable. has to be palatable. If you're cooking right. for, for a big group of people, you probably want to start mild. Yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. A lot of ladies don't like things too spicy. No. Except in the bedroom. <laughs> Golden syrup. Okay. Yes. Golden syrup. Quick bit of that, bit yeah. of that. Okay. Just, just a drizzle. Just a drizzle, yes. Or a nizzle. Mushrooms. Yep. To taste. Oh, you just throw those straight in. Yeah, just to mushrooms. taste. Yeah. Yeah. They break down. They break down okay. in, the, in the whole mix. I was thinking with the lettuce, like, I've seen you before with, with the normal bit of lettuce, but why don't we go, why don't we go this bit? The ham. Oh, the earthy flavour. Mmm. Yes, mm. that'll give. Right, great. Okay, now what, what we're going to do, mash. yeah, give it a mash. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, the thing is, is that, you're going to want to put this through on a very yeah. high heat. Right, okay. It, and more to the point, underneath some aluminium foil. Now I'm just, I'm just going to show the viewers at home. Uh, this, is, this is what we have here. It's looking, it's looking good. Absolutely. Now, what's going to happen is the heat is locked in underneath the alfoil foil yeah. and it pressurises in there. Mm. And what it does, it just it builds into a beer bottle and it just yeah locks no, all right. the flavours in. Well, let's get this in the oven. Yep. Yeah. Now high heat. Yeah. Let's put him on. Right? High okay. oven. High oven. High oven. High yeah. oven. Yeah no higher than that mate. You want it on at least 225. Okay. At right. least 225. Then you want to put that on for about 45 minutes. Okay, so while that's okay. cooking guys we're just going to cut to uh, to Demtel, to old Stan from Demtel. Let's hear what he has to say. Yeah. Want to watch a video in bed tonight? Well, you'll probably need a second video. It'll cost about $600 or maybe more. Or you could buy a rabbit. Want to watch TV in your favorite lounge chair? But the kids want to watch a video. Well, you could cart the video to the spare room, try to set it up again, and it'll take ages, or you could simply buy a rabbit. Pounder. There you go. Give her a pounding. Come on, give her a pounding. There you go. Throw her the bone. Throw her the bone. Come on. Pop. There you go. Welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed the rabbit. Really a great product. So we've got, uh, we've got something on the board. It's almost ready to go, Tim. Yeah. Let's see what we've got. Oh, it's risen oh. quite well. You're right. Quite enough. well. Pungent. Yes. Oh. Let's see what we have here. The big reveal. Tallies! Oh, that's great. That's come up. Tallies! Oh, what an absolute treat that is. Tallies, tallies. Yes. They're good to crap. Oh. oh. Wafting. See the smoke. Cheers. Oh. Oh, magical. 
Oh, look. That's a good one. Oh, it's a boy. Baby boy. Fantastic. Welcome to our Tuesday Toys, Toys with TDS this week. Yeah. <laughs> we've, uh, we've been doing a bit of good stuff on the weekend. We played at the Troubadour. Late yeah. night death slot. 1am death slot, thanks to Preecy. And yeah. we also played the Queensland Festival of Blues on Sunday. Probably one of our coolest gigs oh, that we've done. Fantastic afternoon. Thank you very much to Paul Renton and Paul, Paul Robinson. For not for not neighbours. Yeah. yeah, different bloke. Yeah, we had a great together. time. Sold some merch and um, looking at possibly doing some more blues festivals. Uh, maybe Down next the track. Year. Down the track, got a few nibbles. Yeah, anyway. fantastic weekend. Mm. So we had another night out not long back. We went uh, around the zoo. We got a bit of footage from that uh, that night. And um, first up is the Medics, North Queensland band. Fantastic band, looked after by Leanne D'Souza. Very and nice. uh, making some waves. Fantastic. Check it out. <laughs> Steve Grady, and uh, and yeah, so that should be a great night. There's a hundred tickets, yeah, hundred tickets only, and uh, it should be a sellout. Actually, so you should really get on that, and uh, don't leave until the night to get your ticket. I don't know. You probably already know, but we're both from Rockhampton as well, along with Busby. Uh, a good town, Rockhampton. A good a good hearty town. Home, it's, you would say. Home, exactly. We're doing a homeward bound tour through there in September. Uh, Rocky, the beef capital of Australia. Did you know that? Yeah. Not Casino. No. It's Rockhampton. We met someone from Casino recently. When we go back to Rocky, these are, uh, these are our top five things that we like to do. Yes. Check it out. Top five to do, things to do in Rocky. I'm uh, on Bruce Diamond. I'm a local identity. Here's the number one thing to do. Uh, look at the balls. Yeah, so here we got uh, number two. This is where we smoke up my Gemini. Number three, I like to take a bit of a stroll around the fair. Uh, maybe get a haircut. Number four, after my haircut, I like to go out and show it off at the stadium. And the fifth one, I've got a big boat and I like to take it out fishing in the Fitzroy. I'm going now some bullshit. Righto, hope to see the lot of you uh, this weekend. Wherever you are in Australia, yep. internationally. Toowoomba, Brisbane, 23rd, 24th, Spotted Cow in Toowoomba on the 23rd, Bar Sober, Fortitude Valley, 24th. Hope to see you there. Both shows start at 9 pm. Both free. And remember, when, when you're, you're in the, the kitchen, kitchen, don't confuse the tea towel with your gig flanny. <laughs>